Right, welcome everyone. This will be um, a new very short video. Uh, uh, this will be a new very short series on how to create a cookie click game in the browser. Um, we're going to be doing this with just vanilla JavaScript, nothing um, too fancy. It won't look as nice as this, but in, in terms of functionality, it will be just, just the same, hopefully. So the idea, the premise behind the game like cookie clicker is that um, this is what's known as an idle click game or an idle clicker. The idea is that you entertain the user just to randomly, mindlessly click without achieving anything as such. Now, um, so by clicking your supposedly baking cookies and with the more cookies that you um, bake, you can upgrade or you can um, purchase clickers that will auto click for you over time. In, in which case then it becomes a bigger and bigger uh, empire of producing cookies. Now, I just want you to notice that when I first click on this one to get my first clicker, it's 15 cookies to begin with. Once I click on it, it becomes 18. So the price goes up. That's something that we have to um, consider for later because we're going to incorporate that into our game as well. And now that I've done it, you can see that I've got a clicker here. Let's get one more. Um, so now basically it's um, every 10 seconds, I've got two automatic clicks. So it will automatically click for me every 10 seconds twice. And I can increase that by purchasing more clickers um, and then there are different there are different um, levels so for example at 100 cookies I can purchase a grandma a thousand and hundred cookies I can purchase a mine and these basically result in um, being able to achieve more clicks per second or per minute should I say so we want to create something like this um, and to do that I'm going to start off by um, open up a website called CodePen. And I'm just going to start coding. If you want to save your work, you should, um, you should obviously log in, create an account. Um, and the premise behind CodePen is that it allows us to code with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in three separate uh, windows. And this is the produced web page at the bottom um, and the good thing about um, CodePen as well is it allows me to remove some of the tags that are required in HTML so for example usually we'll require HTML tags head tags oops spelled it wrong head tags and let's spell that correctly as well and then under that I would have body tags um, and so everything that I want to appear in the page would go between these two body tags here. So for example, if I wanted a heading, I would say H1, and my website's going to be about um, making donuts. So let's call let's call the website Donut Co. So that's going to be our heading. So now that I've put um, something between the body tags, you can see it's appeared on the web page here. Um, and so like I said, in in CodePen, it's not required that I have anything outside of the body tags or in fact i can delete the body tags as well and everything should work normally so that's what i'm going to do for now which then just remo removes a bit of complexity while i'm writing this code um, the next thing i'm going to have if i go back to cookie clicker here so i want to have a heading which i have um well they don't seem to have a heading uh, well they have techno cooks bakery which i can rename to whatever i wanted um and then we have a cookie as a button. I'm gonna use a button at first and then I'm gonna change it to a donut later. And then we have, so we have one column for that. And we also say how many cookies we have and how many cookies we're producing per second. So we will add that into our work. Um, and then we'll talk about the upgrades as well. Right, to begin with, I'm just gonna have a heading. I'm gonna have a paragraph tag, which will just output how many donuts do we have. So let's say donuts zero and I'll leave the pair seconds out for now. We'll just keep it basic and I'll throw in a button as well. That will say fried donut. donuts are fried, right? So now I should have um, all three of these. And what I want to do is I want the donut as I click on fried donut, I want the number of donuts to increase. So at this first stage, um, anyone that's following this tutorial, what I'd like you to do is, Think of your own scenario. It could be V-Bucks Clicker. It could be a uh, Bitcoin miner, um, whatever comes to mind. Um, 
so brownie baker milkshake maker whatever you want and we've just done we've added three tags here so a heading tag a paragraph tag and a button tag okay so now the next thing i'm going to do actually is i'm going to include one other thing so you can see the h1 tag um, creates a heading the paragraph tag just creates a paragraph and the button creates a button i'm going to introduce another tag here called span now span is similar to the other tags except it doesn't have a style attached to it and so i'm going to put my zero in here and i'll explain why in a second so i'm going to give the span tag an id so let's just call it id equals and if i make this a bit wider so that it doesn't text wrap i'm going to say number of donuts so that's going to be the id for my span tag now what i need to do for this first stage is i'm going to create two variables and then a and then a function so that every time i click on the button it increases the donuts for me so to start with let's create two two variables so we'll say donuts equals zero to begin with and we'll add another variable called donuts multiple so that oops uh, people equals one so that whenever i increase the donuts I increase it using this variable here. Um, that may not be required, but I'm going to throw it. Now, the next step, and the only other thing required to get our program working straight away, is we want to write a function. So I'm going to call this um, make donuts. And so this is the name of our function, our parenthesis, and then between our curly brackets is what will happen when the button is clicked when the function is called so the next thing we want to say is every time the button is pressed we want the number of donuts to go up by one so we're going to say donuts equals donuts plus one and now that essentially should work so if i was to go back to my button tag here oops, if i go back to, back to my button and i say one click and I call the function, we say make donuts. Essentially what should happen now is when I click on fry donut, actually the variable is increasing, but we're not seeing it because what we're not doing is pushing the result back to this tag here so that the zero can change. So what we'll now do is we type in the word document, which then refers to the HTML document here. We're gonna say document, dot get element by ID and the ID is number underscore of oops, donuts so we're basically telling JavaScript to go to the HTML document find the ID number of donuts and when we write in in a HTML we want to say just increase or change push out the change to donuts so update with donuts so what this will do is it will between the tags here it will change that number with whatever donuts is currently so to begin with it should be zero when i click on the button now it should increase by one and that is in under under a few minutes we have a cookie cookie game that's stage one of our game uh, I'll see you over for the next video for the continuation. Thank you.